Hello Galactic Family. Earth's challenges and the call for action in the vast expanse of the cosmos, nestled among the stars, lies a tiny blue planet called Earth. Home to a diverse array of life forms and breathtaking landscapes, it has been a cradle of evolution and existence for billions of years. However, the very home that has nurtured and sustained life is now facing challenges of unprecedented magnitude. From the frigid poles to the scorching equator, the problems upon Earth are far from diminishing, and they cast a shadow over the future of humanity. As humans, we have emerged as the dominant species on this planet, possessing intelligence and the capacity to create marvels. Yet, this very dominance has often been accompanied by a short-sightedness that has led to grave consequences. Despite the growing awareness of environmental issues and the need for sustainability, action has been slow, and the consequences are being felt worldwide. Depending on where one resides, these challenges are manifesting in different ways, causing widespread damage and considerable concern to maintain normal living standards. The alarming rate at which these issues are escalating has caught many off guard leaving little time for adequate precautions to be taken. Temperature changes, for instance, are proving to be exceptionally greater than previously expected, leaving communities struggling to adapt. Nonetheless, amidst the darkness, there shines a glimmer of hope. The challenges faced by Earth have not gone unnoticed, and the collective consciousness of humanity is awakening. The realization that the fate of our planet lies in our hands has spurred a worldwide effort, with different countries coming together to combat the impending crisis. The unity displayed in the face of adversity is a testament to the resilience and potential of humanity when united by a common cause. As we confront these trials, it is essential to remember that we are not alone in this endeavor. There are benevolent forces beyond our realm that seek to guide and support us on our journey. These forces, often referred to as the Galactic Family, comprise enlightened beings from distant corners of the universe. They watch over Earth with compassion and a vested interest in our evolution. From their vantage point, they see the interconnectedness of all life and recognize that every action has a ripple effect on the grand tapestry of existence. They are eager to lend a helping hand, but they respect our free will and sovereignty. Their guidance comes subtly, nudging us towards a path of greater harmony and enlightenment. While some countries may suffer more than others due to the extreme heat, it is imperative to focus our energy on assisting those in greater need. This compassion and empathy will be the cornerstone of a new era, where humanity rises above divisions and recognizes the interdependence that binds us all. For too long, humanity has been kept down, held back by the shortcomings of outdated systems and beliefs. The time has come for a global effort a united front against the challenges that threaten our existence. It is a call for a shared vision, where nations put aside their differences and work together for the greater good. The resources at our disposal are greater than we realize, and if used wisely, they can empower us to combat the changes and mitigate their impact. This requires a collective effort and a combined approach by the major countries of the world. Only through unity and collaboration can we hope to maintain some measure of control over the unfolding events. The right approach now will ensure a satisfactory outcome and pave the way for new ways of living to be introduced. The time has come to question the status quo and challenge the structures that hinder progress. The groups that hold power and dictate what is allowed must be confronted for their self-serving agendas can no longer be tolerated. In truth, we are not alone in this struggle. The galactic family watches over us, ever present in the background, offering guidance and nudging us towards the right decisions. 
They are not mere observers but active participants in our evolution, supporting us in our quest to transcend the limitations of the past. As we journey through the cosmos, Earth is passing through new energies in space. These energies lift everything up, offering an opportunity for positive transformation. The negative forces that have held humanity back for so long are being reduced in their effect, allowing for a turn towards a better future. To make the most of this period of transition, we must think ahead and embrace progress. It is time to shed the old ways that no longer serve us and embrace new possibilities. The path to a brighter future lies before us, and it is up to us to seize the opportunities that await. The challenges we face are not insurmountable, for the human spirit is hardy and resolute. The collective determination of humanity to overcome these challenges is a testament to the indomitable spirit that resides within each individual. Many souls have chosen to be part of this significant moment in history, dedicating themselves to guiding humanity through this trying period. It is not without reason that we find ourselves in the midst of these trials. Before incarnating upon Earth, we were fully aware of the challenges that awaited us, and we embraced them with a sense of purpose and determination. Though we may not see the full picture, we can trust that we are supported by higher forces that see the outcome and guide us through difficult times. Victory over the darkness is within our grasp, and we must hold steadfast to our faith and belief in our abilities. The clouds of uncertainty may obscure our vision at times, but we must remember that every cloud has a silver lining. The journey may be arduous, but the destination is one of triumph and liberation. In the heart of creation itself, a fountain of grace flows endlessly, reminding us of our divine potential and the creative power that lies within. It is a reservoir of pure sacred life force connecting us to the very essence of existence. In the midst of challenges, it is this fountain that can rejuvenate and inspire us. The heart is a portal to higher realms of consciousness, a gateway to the infinite. Within its chambers lies the wisdom of the ages, the knowing of our eternal states of becoming. It holds the blueprints of our divine dreams, waiting for us to breathe life into them. This sacred space, the heart of creation, is the key to unlocking our divine potential. Yet, the journey to divine dreaming is not without obstacles. The serpent smog of doubt and fear can cloud our vision and entangle our thoughts. The ego, with its illusions of safety and security, can trap us in patterns of skepticism and judgment. To break free, we must reclaim our power and turn to the sacred breath of God. Conscious breathing is the elixir of the soul, purifying ourselves and igniting the divine spark within. As we breathe with Source, we awaken our inner Creator and Visionary. In this awakened state, we can access new realms of consciousness, where our dreams take shape and our intentions manifest with ease. Divine dreaming is not a passive state. It is an act of conscious creation. Just as the Divine Creator dreamed us into existence, we too have the power to dream a new reality. The light codes of creation reside within us, waiting to be activated by our belief, intention, and breath. However, doubt is the adversary of Divine Dreaming. It is the serpent's whisper, sowing seeds of uncertainty in our minds. Doubt clouds our visions and weakens our manifestations. To embrace divine dreaming fully, we must relinquish doubt and embrace discernment, the inner knowing that arises from the heart. The path to divine dreaming is not always smooth, and we may encounter storms along the way. The illusions of the 3D matrix may try to snare us, but we have the power to rise above. We are not mere actors in a predetermined script. We are creators of our destiny. Each soul must choose its path, 
and the call to divine dreaming is a call to ascend to higher realms of consciousness. As we awaken to our inner divine dreamer, we become co-creators with the source. The power to shape our reality lies within us, waiting to be unleashed. In this pivotal time, as storms of change sweep across the world, we must stay grounded in our divine potential. The earth is a captured stage, entangled in the illusions of the serpent's matrix. Yet, as divine dreamers, we can break free and claim our sovereignty. The galactic family watches over us, urging us to awaken from the serpent's illusions and claim our power. They see the potential within us, the divine spark waiting to be ignited. They offer guidance and support, but the choice to embrace divine dreaming lies within each individual. As the end of July approaches and the month of August dawns, we are presented with profound choice points. Will we descend further into the serpentine illusion, or will we rise into the God timeline and the land of truth and clarity? The choice is ours to make. Let us remember that doubt is the destroyer of dreams, and skepticism is the slippery slope of divine ascension. As ascension warriors, we must recognize doubt as a marker on our path and choose the next road he pathway of conscious breathing and illumination. In the depth of our hearts lies the power to manifest miracles and transform pain and suffering into light and peace. We must liberate ourselves from the entanglements of the 3D matrix and breathe with God to access our highest potential. The time has come to be the divine dreamers and 5D plus creators we were born to be. The path is not without challenges, but the rewards are measurable. Together, let us shine like heavenly beacons, lighting the way for others to find their path to freedom. In the conscious breathing and divine dreaming, we will secure the God timeline and create a world of harmony and enlightenment. Let us set ourselves free and embrace the journey to the land of truth and clarity, where our divine dreams take flight, and our highest visions manifest among the tapestry of souls on earth. A select few emerge as the chosen ones. They are the ones who have heard the call of destiny, the divine whisper that stirs their hearts and souls. These extraordinary beings are not chosen by some external force but rather by the resonance of their inner divine essence with the frequencies of higher realms. The chosen ones are not necessarily born into positions of power or fame. Their greatness lies in their spiritual alignment and unwavering commitment to their missions. Their souls have journeyed through lifetimes of learning, growth, and preparation to stand at the threshold of their divine purpose. Each chosen one is unique in their mission, yet all are bound by the common thread of service to humanity and the earth. Their paths may differ but their ultimate goal is to uplift consciousness and bring about positive transformation. Some chosen ones are spiritual leaders who lead with wisdom and compassion. They are here to awaken others to their divine potential and guide them on their own path of self-discovery. These leaders may be found in various spiritual traditions, disseminating ancient wisdom and timeless truths to those seeking enlightenment. Others are healers blessed with the ability to channel divine energy and facilitate profound healing in others. They are conduits of love and light, helping to restore balance and harmony to a world besieged by turmoil and suffering. Through their healing touch, they offer solace and renewal to weary souls. There are also chosen ones who are artists and creators, gifted with the ability to harness the power of imagination to inspire and uplift. Through their art, music, and writings, they bring beauty and hope to a world that sometimes feels bereft of both. Their creations touch the hearts of many, reminding them of their divine nature and interconnectedness. Some chosen ones take on roles as activists and change makers. They fearlessly stand up for justice and equality, tirelessly advocating for the rights of the marginalized and oppressed. 
Their missions are to dismantle systems of injustice and create a world where all beings can thrive. The environmentalists among the chosen ones are called to be guardians of the earth. They feel a deep and profound connection to nature and work tirelessly to protect and restore the planet's ecosystems. Their missions extend beyond human concerns, encompassing the well-being of all living beings on Earth. The Chosen Ones are not immune to challenges and doubts. In fact, their missions often come with immense trials and tribulations. Yet, they persist with unwavering determination for they know that the universe has bestowed upon them a sacred trust. The galactic family plays a pivotal role in supporting the Chosen Ones on their journeys. They are the unseen hands guiding and protecting, offering insights and synchronicities to lead them closer to their destinies. The galactic family knows that the success of the Chosen Ones missions is intricately tied to the evolution of humanity. As the Chosen Ones traverse the path of their missions, they inevitably encounter the forces of resistance and darkness. The serpent's smog of doubt and fear seeks to entangle them, hindering their progress. But with divine guidance and the power of their unwavering hearts, the Chosen Ones press forward. It is crucial to recognize that each individual is a potential Chosen One. The call to service is not limited to a select few. It resonates within the depths of every soul. The awakening of the Chosen Ones is a call for all of humanity to recognize their divine purpose and step into their power. To fulfill their missions, the Chosen Ones must first undergo a profound inner transformation. They must confront their shadows and transcend their egoic limitations. It is through this process of self-mastery that they become clear channels for divine love and wisdom. As the Chosen Ones embrace their missions, they come to realize that they are not alone. There is a network of souls across the world, each answering the call of their higher selves. Together, they form a collective of light workers, weaving a tapestry of love and compassion across the earth. In times of doubt or uncertainty, the Chosen Ones can draw strength from this interconnectedness. They can reach out to their fellow lightworkers, finding solace and support in the shared journey. Together, they amplify the power of their missions and create a harmonious symphony of change. The path of the Chosen Ones is not always smooth, but it is one of purpose and fulfillment. It is a journey of selfless service where the ego takes a backseat to the needs of the greater whole. Through their missions, the Chosen Ones contribute to the grand tapestry of cosmic evolution. In the end, it is the love in their hearts and the fire in their spirits that propel the Chosen Ones forward. They are not guided by personal gain or ambition. Their motives are rooted in the desire to uplift and empower others. It is this purity of intent that makes them true agents of change. The Chosen Ones are not saviors or messiahs. They are simply individuals who have heeded the call of their souls. They are reminders that each person has a unique role to play in the cosmic drama of creation. As they embrace their missions, they inspire others to do the same. In the grand tapestry of existence, the Chosen Ones are the bright threads of light that illuminate the path to a higher reality. They are the living testament to the power of the human spirit and the limitless potential of the soul. As they move forward, the world moves with them, one step closer to the realization of divine dreaming and 5D creations. The Chosen Ones are not defined by birthright or privilege but by the resonance of their souls with the call of destiny. They are a diverse group of souls, each with a unique mission to uplift humanity and the earth. With unwavering determination, they navigate challenges and doubts, guided by the support of the galactic family and the interconnectedness of all light workers. Their journeys are not without trials, but their hearts are filled with love and compassion for the greater whole. As they embrace their missions, 
they inspire others to awaken to their divine potential and join the collective effort to create a world of truth, clarity, and higher consciousness. The chosen ones are not separate from us. They are a reminder that each individual has the potential to be a beacon of light in the tapestry of creation. Together, we can co-create a world where divine dreaming becomes a reality, and humanity steps into its highest potential. The time is now, and the call is within each of us. Let us embrace our missions and shine as the chosen ones we were born to be. Continuing from the previous passage, the chosen one's journey is not without its moments of doubt and uncertainty. There are times when the weight of their missions may feel overwhelming, and the magnitude of the task ahead may seem insurmountable. Yet, it is precisely during these moments of vulnerability that the chosen ones draw upon the wellspring of strength that lies within them. They turn inward and connect with the divine well of wisdom that flows from the depths of their hearts. They remember the sacred contract they made with the universe before incarnating on earth contract to be a beacon of light and a catalyst for transformation. With renewed determination, the chosen ones continue on their path, guided by the inner compass of their intuition and the support of the unseen realms. The galactic family remains vigilant, ever-present, and ready to offer guidance and assistance when called upon. As the Chosen Ones embark on their missions, they find themselves traversing a landscape of both joy and sorrow. They witness the beauty and resilience of the human spirit, but also the depths of suffering and pain that exist in the world. It is a delicate balance, for they must remain compassionate witnesses while also being catalysts for change. One of the greatest challenges the Chosen Ones face is the resistance from those who cling to the old paradigms. The serpent's smog of fear and doubt can be pervasive, and many individuals may not be ready to embrace the higher frequencies of divine truth and love. Nevertheless, the Chosen Ones persist, knowing that their mere presence and actions can plant seeds of awakening in even the most resistant hearts. In their pursuit of divine dreaming and 5D creations, the Chosen Ones recognize the power of unity and collaboration. They understand that the true strength lies in the collective effort of lightworkers working together as a harmonious symphony of change. Across the globe, lightworkers come together, forming networks of support and cooperation. They create a grid of love and light transcending geographical boundaries and cultural differences. Through this interconnected web of souls, the Chosen Ones find solace and strength, knowing that they are part of a larger cosmic tapestry of transformation. The Chosen Ones' missions are not confined to grand gestures or dramatic displays of power. Their impact often lies in the subtle acts of kindness, the compassionate listening, and the moments of genuine connection with others. It is through these seemingly small actions that they ripple positive change throughout the world. As the Chosen Ones continue on their journeys, they are continually reminded of the importance of self-care and self-compassion. The weight of their missions can be immense, and they must remember to nurture their own souls as they nurture the souls of others. They find solace in sacred practices that ground them in the present moment, such as meditation, prayer, and communing with nature. These practices serve as a conduit for divine guidance, helping them navigate the complexities of their missions with grace and humility. Through their journeys, the Chosen Ones learn the profound truth that divine dreaming is not merely a distant fantasy but a tangible reality waiting to be manifested. They come to understand that the power to create lies within each individual, and that we are all co-creators of our collective destiny. The call for action is not exclusive to the Chosen One's tea resonates within every heart, inviting all souls to step into their divine purpose and contribute to the evolution of consciousness on Earth. In the grand tapestry of existence, the Chosen Ones are not the soul weavers of change. 
they are catalysts that inspire others to awaken to their own unique missions. The world needs the collective effort of all souls who are willing to step into the role of light workers, healers, artists, activists, and guardians of the earth. Together, we can co-create a world where love, compassion, and higher consciousness prevail. Each individual has a part to play in this grand symphony of transformation, and as more souls heed the call of their higher selves, the chorus of divine dreaming and 5D creations grows louder and more harmonious. The time is now, and the call is within each of us. Let us embrace our missions with courage and determination, for we are all chosen by the universe to be agents of change. As we step into our power and awaken to our divine potential, we illuminate the path to a world of truth, clarity, and love. In unity and purpose, we stand hand in hand with the chosen ones, co-creating a new chapter in the story of humanity. With every act of kindness, every moment of connection, and every step taken in the direction of love, we contribute to the transformation of the world and the fulfillment of our collective destiny. The Chosen Ones are not distant figures to be revered from afar. They are our fellow travelers on the journey of awakening. They remind us that the power to create change lies within each of us, and that the call for action is one that reverberates through the depths of our souls. Together, let us embrace our divine purpose and step into the role of co-creators of a world filled with love, compassion, and higher consciousness. Let us honor the call to service and be the beacons of light that guide others on their paths of awakening. As we unite in our efforts, we weave a tapestry of divine dreaming and 5D creations, drawing ever closer to the realization of God's timeline and the land of truth and clarity. The world awaits our collective awakening, and the time for action is now. Let us heed the call, for we are all chosen to be agents of change in this grand cosmic dance of creation. The problems upon earth are far from diminishing and depending where you live, are causing widespread damage, and considerable concern to maintain normal living standards. Given that this period of change was anticipated you rightly question why more action was not taken to avoid the disasters now being experienced. The problems have for most of you perhaps come up at much faster rate than expected. Consequently adequate precautions may not have been taken. Temperature changes are difficult to cater for particularly when they have proved to be exceptionally greater than previously expected. The changes are forcing you to re-access your approach to the problems, and you are seeing the first signs of a worldwide effort of different countries coming together to combat them. Anything less would have been more much disastrous than it has been so far. However, it seems that some countries are suffering much more than others where the temperatures are so high that normal life isn't possible. We urge you to focus your energy upon those who are in greater need of assistance. In general terms humanity has been kept down for a long, long time and the shortcomings are seen as preventing adequate action being taken. Sooner or later there must be a worldwide effort to combat the changes so as to lessen their effect upon the people. The resources of the world are greater than realized and if used sensibly should enable you to combat the changes so as to keep damage to the minimum. You must know what is needed and a combined approach by the major country should enable you to keep some measure of control over what is taking place. The right approach now will ensure that the outcome is satisfactory and will pave the way for new ways of living to be introduced. The groups who rule the world and dictate what is allowed must be forced to allow advancements to be made that raise the living standard of life. The know-how exists already and there are efforts being made to introduce them now. The earth is passing through new energies in space that are lifting everything up and as it increases the negative ones are being reduced in their effect upon you. 
Therefore in the long term matters will take a turn for the better and you should start preparing for this period now. Think ahead and think progress because the changes will give you the opportunities you need to make headway. Realize that we are doing our best to influence you to make the right decisions and giving ideas that will enhance your progress. Your destiny is written in the stars and the way home is laid out before you. Think new and let the old ways fade away into the past as they have served their purpose very well. We do not stand idly by and are forever prompting you to take the right action that will benefit you and continue to advance humanity. You could say every cloud has a silver lining but how do you get at it? You are to be credited with a determination to be successful and it is this approach that will bring you victory. The people as a collective are hardy and resolute and determined to overcome the challenges that are before them. Many know the score and work hard to guide you along the path leading to success. You can achieve it and many of you have been chosen to help humanity through this very trying period. Do not lose heart as many souls are with you on this journey with you, giving you the help and strength to carry on knowing that all the effort you put in will prove to have been well worth it. Most of you are fully aware of the challenge you would face, and your part in the action would have been discussed before you incarnated upon earth. So matters are not as bad as they might appear, and many souls are engaged in the battle against the dark forces and well equipped to win. As you cannot see the whole picture it is difficult for you to gauge the exact position you are in, but be assured that you are supported by us. We see the whole picture and outcome and best able to guide you safely through such periods. We see your victory so keep on believing in success as it is not that far away. The joy and happiness of leaving the darkness behind will be so uplifting and most of you will still be here to witness it. These are historic times and you are privileged to be part of them. Many souls desire to be part of the story that will in the future be told many times over. The victory of the light over the darkness will honor those who were part of it and were successful. We have looked ahead and given you some insight into the future, hoping it will strengthen your resolve to see this battle through to the end. One day you will look back at this period and marvel at your determination to achieve victory over the dark ones. You will also see the future that was assured by your success. It was always meant to result this way but you still had to achieve it without knowing the real outcome. You had great faith in those who supported you all through the challenges that greatly tested you. In reality you are persevering with a strong passion and determination to win this battle. Logically the light will always win over the dark ones, but not before they have tried every trick to win the battle. It has given you of the light a stronger belief in your own ability to face and beat them and you are to be commanded for doing so. It is Mother Earth, God Source Creator, Mother Mary, El Moria, and the Arcturian High Council here, streaming through the heart of the center of creation today. For this is the place of eternal and forever grace. We come to you to remind you of this sacred space that lives in you. It is a fountain of youth, it is a fountain of creativity, and it is a fountain of divine prana that lives in the frequencies of your own heart. The heart is a reservoir of extraordinary divine potential. It is a reservoir of pure sacred life force that knows the easiest and best ways to connect with your divinity. And it is a reservoir of all that has ever been created in this creation, past, present, and future. Thus, your heart knows where you are now and where you are going, for it knows your eternal states of becoming. And this is another gift from Creator Source that wishes to awaken in you to support you, empower you, activate you, and inspire you in these times. Let us take a deep and divine conscious breath in right now together. And let us see this deep divine breath flowing into all of the places inside you that need to wake up from a long spiritual slumber. Even within the most awake among you, 
there is more to wake up inside you in these times. For the sleeping spell cast over planet Earth has been thick with serpent smog, and you still might hold some old, vaporous serpent frequencies in the minutous particles that need to be God-breathed into total and complete clearing. That is what we invite you to do and be with us right now. Breathe and envision yourself as one giant and seamless breath of God energy right now in this moment. And simultaneously as you do this, God is meeting you there. In the breath. And now you can feel yourself breathing as one with the God consciousness in you. See that God consciousness flowing into all of your cells, and breathing them into pristine 5D clarity right here and right now and feel that God consciousness flow into your heart center, waking up your deepest and most divine dreams, that know through all time, who you are, what your amazing skills are, how your divine talents want to come alive in your 5D now timeline and how you feel when all of this transpires to be the living magical life you most desire. Your conscious breathing ignites the universal creationary spark that brings divine life force into your desires so that they can transpire and respire. Respire means breathing again. And God is only asking each of you right now listening to this message to breathe again in this way with Source. The more you respire the more you ignite again the life force of God Source Creator creation in you. And this is part of the activation and unvalations finding you at the end of July 2023 and the beginning of August 2023. God has great works to manifest and to transpire through your awakened desires. But what must unfold for that to occur? The awakening of your conscious breathing into your cells, into your heart center, and into the core of your vibrational beingness and awareness. And once this activates, you have all that you need to create magical worlds within magical worlds within magical worlds. So as the old serpentine world continues to crumble, who is interested in learning more about divine dreaming today? Who listening to this message desires to breathe their way into their own magical worlds in God's timeline, where you are living your divine potential every day? filled with expansive and life-affirming God breath, and joyously and seamlessly feeling more connected with the world within and around you. As one world falls away, the new one is emerging simultaneously, yes? So let us talk about entering a conscious awakened state of allowing yourself to divinely dream. Divine dreaming always begins with the breath. It is the magical elixir your heart requires to feel inspired in ways that open up its sacred creationary portal. All four chambers of the heart simultaneously receive these divine breaths of the God breath, and that powerful whoosh of energy opens your divine portals within your sacred heart centers to access new realms of consciousness. And this is where the magic of dreams happens. This is the cosmic workshop where your soul's greatest wishes, intentions, and beliefs about who you can be and what you can create lives. So let's stay in this high vibrational conscious breathing state as we journey in this transmission today, into the energies of the infinite, into the energies of things that block access to your etheric infinite nature and into the energies of the grandest God timeline that your soul's visioning can access through feelings, imagination, faith, fortitude, and appreciation. Dreaming is a consciousness. It is an awakened state of the creator in you that is a living creator of God source creator. In a metaphorical as well as metaphysical sense, you are a character, an essence, a spark in God's story. The ultimate divine creator dreamed you to dream just like him. And in God's dream, in this living reality, you can truly dream at this brilliant level. The light codes for this power and this presence live inside you. You simply have to turn them on with your faith, your belief, your conscious awareness, and your breath. If you let yourself soul breathe. This process of divine dreaming is as natural as human 3D breathing. Yes? 
your body is designed to automatically know how to breathe, without you thinking about it and telling your body to do this. What humanity is a collective whole has forgotten is that dreaming in this divine way of dreaming is just as natural. You think a thought and feel a feeling about your dream and you are designed to naturally, organically, and divinely breathe into form. Exactly the manifestation that you thought and felt just moments before. But does it manifest in that instant way in your daily lives? Not as often as some would like, we would say. Manifestations take time in the lower 3D world. Because the ego believes they take time. And the ego is scared of the trillions of things that can go wrong, so that your original pure intentions get clouded with the vibrational vines of all the things that can stop or thwart you from getting what you want. So the ego orchestrates vibrations, thoughts, feelings, and senses to wrap around your happiest of dreams. Believing the process of divine dreaming and joyful manifesting to be hard, treacherous, and often unattainable. And this is how the serpent and the ego conspire together through unwritten yet vibrational contracts to spiritually snafu your divine spark's greatest dreams. How does this energy vine around your deepest wishes? Your greatest intentions? Your happiest of personal and collective dreams? Doubt. Doubt is the biggest snafu of all. For it is a more palatable vibrational version of fear. Doubt is a mental projection of the raw feelings of fear. Can you see the pattern? The ego is afraid. And fearful. And that raw emotion in a 3D world then rises up and through the filter of a serpent contracted mental or linear mind. And then the ego mind takes over the feeling and repackages it as doubt, or skepticism, that the ego mind sells to the rest of your mind body spirit as guidance, as wisdom, as logic, and even sometimes as discernment. So let us be clear in this stage of covering spiritual snafus. Fear is a 3D feeling. Doubt is the 3D emotion and mental construct that the ego with the serpent's conditioning and assistance repackages as wisdom, logic, safety, and security to deal with the original 3D feeling of fear. Discernment is not the same thing as skepticism and judgment. Discernment is vibrational awareness that comes from the all-knowing, wise, and timeless heart center. Skepticism and judgment are implemented through the ego's cues of distorted fears that are repackaged as doubt, which then the person embraces as positive protection, false sense of security, and illusory feelings of safety. Thus, it is important to illuminate the vibrations in the words you each use to make sense of the world within you and the world around you. Remember, words can liberate and words can incarcerate. Your consciousness reveals and unveils things to you daily whether you are traveling the realms of incarceration or traveling the realms of liberation. Doubt is seeded and controlled through the 3D matrix's illusions and ego contracts. Discernment is seated and eternally honored in the higher dimensional portal of your all-knowing sacred heart center. So dear ones, we see many of you today. Listening to a message like this. Aware of many aspects of serpentine corruption on your world. We see you watching the movies play out. And the theater play out. And we watch more and more of the illusion appear to potentially come into your experiences as unpleasant manifestations. Like when more truth is exposed on more and more of your social media platforms. In your governments. And in everyday conversations. The illusion comes close to all of you, doesn't it? For it seeks to access feelings of fear to trigger the ego to roll out serpent contracted and accepted responses. That ultimately project and manifest a serpent's agendas for you and for humanity. And to ultimately thwart the divine dreamer that needs access to their all-knowing heart center, in order to neutralize the seeds of fear in the first place, 
that have no place in any God timeline in creation. So we know that many of you are hearing about illusions that might threaten your financial security for instance, your personal freedom for instance, and even your body's sovereignty for instance. And yet, we know also that those that have the ability to divinely dream beyond the spiritual snafus that the serpent has long reinforced in humanity's conditioning since the timeline of Adam and Eve. Those that can and will divinely dream into the new timeline. You actually secure more of your consciousness and more of your daily manifestations into the higher 5D plus God timeline than ever before. Energy will be expended, for those that continue to join the serpent's narratives in the outer world and also in your inner world. It takes a lot of energy to experience fear false evidence appearing real and repackage it into a more palatable daily life experience riddled with mental, logical, skeptical, and judgmental doubts, and then implement those doubts into your daily vibrational projections that manifest more illusion than all of your lives. Energy is renewed, revitalized, and rejuvenated, for those that see the option of ego distortions and repackagings and instead choose to breathe the God breath into their heart centers, and allow their soul essences to feel the knowing of divine solutions, divine creations, and divine manifestations that all children of God Source Creation Creator have the ability to access and dream into form. God Source Creator and Creation itself are both calling to the daughters and sons of Adam and Eve, to awaken from this centuries-old cycle of separation consciousness and serpentine illusion. How do you awaken from the matrix? The illusion? You breathe deep divine truth into your lungs into your cells, and into your heart centers. It is through the portal of higher consciousness and awareness that your hearts have always contained and channeled in this world. That you will feel your powers and gifts awaken to manifest miracles where pain and suffering once resided. You must lose your mind to enter the all-knowing gifts and abilities of your sacred heart center. You must relinquish and even banish your ego contracts with doubt skepticism, judgment, and any another of the rebranded egoic form of 3D protection to allow the all-seeing third eye and the all-feeling and knowing 5D heart center to lead your life with light, peace, greater ease, and grace in these times. Spiritual snafu show up in many ways, but very often have their roots in contracts with the ego, and thus contracts with the biblical serpent in its 3D matrix. Many people who have not chosen the God timeline, and the portal of their higher heart's access to that divine God timeline, are getting entangled and mired more and more fully into the 3D matrix's illusions of pain, suffering, 3D storytelling and rehashing, ego defensiveness, painful ego judgments, low vibrational projections, and more and they lack soul sight and self and soul awareness to even know that they are doing it. The movies playing out on this time of the Great Ascension, the theater or the movie is playing them. They are hence not divine dreamers and quantum creators in this shift of the ages. They are players and actors in the very same movie and theater they have always found themselves in. Every soul must choose his or her timeline. Every soul must choose now more than ever if they will breathe with God or contract with the serpent. Each soul must choose if they are going to play in the 3D weeds where the serpent contracted ego wants them to play and get played by the serpent every time or if they are going to do the inner vibrational work to breathe with God in every breath and choose the God timeline that they cannot yet fully physically see with their conscious vision and present soul sight. But that is becoming more real than anything the illusion has to offer every single day. Do not entangle yourselves with others on the path of liberating themselves from the 3D movie playing 24 sevenths called Serpent Entanglement. It's playing in every theater, mainstream news station, in many alternative media channels, in families, in places of business, schools, etc. 
The 3D Earth is a captured stage. The serpent captured it long ago, with the stealing of Adam and Eve's innocence through temptations, deceptions, seductions, and distortions. Many of you listening to this today know yourselves to be Adam and Eve's divine descendants. The invitation for all of you is to wake up from the serpent's contemporary poison apple filled illusions, and claim your sovereignty now by choosing the path that seeks truth, that seeks life, that seeks light, and that seeks the divine dream beyond this present 3D serpentine captured earth planet. Which means, claiming your sovereignty now by choosing the timeline of God. Through the breath. Through your vibrational focus and attention. Through what you spend your time feeling, saying, exchanging, creating, doing, and being. Many caught in the net now. Who are still fooled by the serpent's illusions and manipulations may get louder and may struggle more for they have forgotten that the doorway and the passageway to God and the God timeline has always been within. Scrambled thoughts unchecked emotions and fears, lack of self-awareness, projecting pain and distortions, and more may be the expression of some who still haven't found a clear path of choosing God, choosing truth, choosing creation, and choosing light now in their lives. Ready to leave that serpent's 3D matrix and fishing net need to learn about and awaken to their inner divine dreamer who knows how to see and manifest through an awakened and God-aligned heart center and practice deep divine conscious breathing of the God breath and God light in their lives. And those souls with practice and commitment will feel grounding like no other as God's divine prana and partnership orient their creative gifts, heart and talents to what they were always meant to be, creationary tools in a garden of Eden led, created, supported, and empowered by our true God creator and ultimate baker of worlds in all universes. The end of July, the month of August, and the remainder of 2023 will invite all sentient beings to profound choice points. The biggest choice point of all is whether you are rising into the God timeline or descending further into the serpentine illusion. These choices are made consciously or by default. They are far more enjoyable, solid, and strong if chosen consciously than by default. The portal of the heart of creation is open dear ones. And it is inviting all souls ready to take the quantum leap back to the God timeline and the land of what's real and true in the heart of God. Doubt is the destroyer of dreams and the slippery slope of divine ascension. Ascension warriors can encounter doubt and use it is as a marker on their ascension path, noting to not turn down that path but instead to choose the next road over, the pathway of conscious breathing and illumination. You have the inner GPS inside dear ones to recognize serpent markers and God paths. As much as you can, engage your divine discernment, and release your ego's need to judge, doubt, project, entangle, and distort. And most of all, breathe in sacred heart alignment with the heart of source and the heart of creation, as much as you can each day. Storms of various sizes and shapes will continue to roll through physical places on the earth stage. The helping and affirming hands of source are reaching into your lives and into your hearts if you will allow the light of that truth and clarity in, in these wobbling and escalating times. We call the awakening Adams and Eves to rise into your sacred heart portals and dream and breathe the God timeline in your soul's greatest visions. Have compassion for those struggling, entangled in nets of their own consciousness and fears. And yet, turn your attention and intentions within, to the divine dreaming and sacred breathing that opens clearer and clearer portals in you to enter the God timeline and to shine your light from the higher realms. For in the conscious breathing and in the divine dreaming, you have the strength, the faith, the power and the fortitude to shine like a heavenly beacon in the true timeline and creation of God to light the way for others to find that path within themselves as well and vibrationally set themselves free. God is not seeking saviors. God is seeking creators. 
be the divine dreamers and 5D plus creators you were born to be. And set yourselves free. Thank you so much for watching our videos, subscribing to our channel, and clicking the like button. We appreciate your support and enthusiasm for the planetary ascension. It means a lot to us that you are interested in this important and transformative topic. We are constantly working to bring you new and exciting content related to the planetary ascension, and we are thrilled to have you along for the journey. As we continue to explore this fascinating subject, we will share our insights and discoveries with you. We believe that by coming together and sharing our knowledge, we can help to usher in a new era of consciousness and understanding on our planet. Thank you again for being a part of this community, and we look forward to sharing more with you soon.